Good afternoon class. Our topic 1 for plane trigonometry and spherical trigonometry start with trigonometric function. There are 9 topics under trigonometric function but for today we'll discuss more about angles. The rest of the topic will be discussed separately for us to individually check this theoretical approach in trigonometric function. Okay, in this topic, angles, the building blocks of trigonometry in degrees. So we'll start with the basic foundation of trigonometry, which is the angle. Okay, angle. So what is angle? An angle is a measure of amount of rotation between two line segments. For example, we have a terminal side, we have two line segment, we have the terminal side and the initial side. Our initial side is our reference segment or our reference point which start at zero. So the initial side and terminal side meeting at the vertex. So saan ba yung vertex? Yung vertex is yung intersection or yung origin ng dalawang segment which is this side. So, if this is our Cartesian plane for example, this is our Cartesian plane this is our Y and this is our X. Yung origin niya dito, yan yung vertex ng dalawang line segment. In this example, we call it initial side and the terminal side. So, meeting at the vertex so dun sila nagkita sa vertex. The angle showing the initial and the terminal side. So, for example, uh, example of positive and negative angle. So, start muna tayo sa positive angle. So, a counterclockwise positive at 70 degrees angle. So, for example, this is zero. So, since anti-clockwise or counterclockwise siya, so, yung rotation niya is pa ganun, di ba? Since counterclockwise siya. So, starting from this point, reference initial side, 0, going counterclockwise. So, since this is, we all know that this is 90. So, this is, we call it a positive angle from 0 to 70 degrees. So, paano naman yung negative angle. So, yung rotation naman ng negative angle is we clockwise rotation. So, if this is a reference point, going down naman yung rotation niya. So, negative. Bakit negative 38? So, kasi nag-start siya instead of going to 90 degrees, papunta siya sa 180 or 270, papunta siya sa 270. So, mag start yung 0, so negatives. So, 380, pwede rin we can also say that 380, I mean 38, equivalent siya for, if I'm not mistaken, this is uh, 322 degrees. So, which is equivalent also to negative 38 kung counterclockwise yung rotation niya. Okay? So, in this case, since negative, so negative 38 papunta dito. Okay. So, let's move to our next theory. So, acute, right, obtuse, straight, and reflex angle. There are five main types of angle. Acute, right, obtuse, straight, and reflex. There are mnemonics and origin of this angle. So, acute angles is between 0 to 90. So, right triangle siya. The three angles above are all acute angles. So, 0 to 90. So, this considered as acute angle 0 to 90. Okay. So, for the mnemonics for this, or our memory tip, the word acute from the latter word acutus means sharp or pointed. So, So, this one is an acute angle, right angle, and obtuse. So, acute angle sila lahat. So, sharp. So, sharp yung corner niya. 
Okay? So, yan yung uh, palatandaan sa kanya. For a right triangle naman, of course, right triangle laging 90 yung angle niya. For acute, 0 to 90. So, yung for acute triangle, so, nag-start siya sa 0. Lahat ng triangle ko pa rito, that is acute angle. For right triangle naman, always 90 yung angle niya between the two segment. All time in corners of a room and a building or a painting. So, halos lahat naka 90 degrees siya. So, memory tip niya, the term right angles from the Latin word angulus rectus, where rectus means upright. So, since naka upright position yung yung terminal side terminal segment mo okay so angulus rectus upright so it doesn't din naman upright pwede rin namang going ba pero straight ahead pa rin siya so obtuse angle for your third type of angle obtuse is between 90 to 180 naman so here is the example for obtuse angle kanina from here to here, from 0 to 90, so, acute angle siya. Pag saktong 90, right triangle siya. Pag 90 to 180, so, if the angle is between this side up to this side, obtuse naman siya. Okay? So, makikita mo sa angle niya. So, memory tip niya, the word obtuse from the Latin word obtusus meaning dull, blunted, or not sharp. So, obvious naman siya, hindi na siya sharp kasi once the, the terminal side is moving towards 180 degrees, so the, the vertex is not anymore pointed compared to your right triangle and acute angle. From 0 to 90, laging pointed, pointed yung vertex niya. Compared to your obtuse, hindi na siya pointed kasi lumagpas na nga siya ng 90. So, dull na siya or blunted or not sharp anymore compared sa unang dalawang angle. Okay, let's move to the straight. Straight angle naman, straight from 0 to 180. So, straight angle siya. Yung angle niya is 180. Reflex angle is beyond Beyond 180 na siya. 0, 90, 180, 270. So, balik siya sa 360. Isang revolution. So, reflex angle is from here up to here naman yung, yung angle niya. From 180 to 360. Ano ba yung memory tip niya? The world reflex from the Latin word reflexus meaning bending back. So, it's obvious. Kasi once if you're in 180, sakto ka lang. Once you go beyond 180, you are bending back. So, may reason din naman pala. Reflexos meaning bending back. The reflex action is one where your muscle bends back. Kung, for example, if this is our back, this is our pivot point, our lower body. So, bending back. So, going to 360 angle. Okay, let's move to standard position of an angle. So, let's observe the the angle standard position. Okay, an angle in standard position, if the initial side is positive axis and the vertex is at the origin. So, for example, sa figure niya, ito yung Cartesian coordinate natin. So, we have Y axis and we have X axis. Kanina, at 0, 0, yung vertex natin is at 0, 0. So, yung tawag sa kanya is standard position if the initial side is at positive axis vertex is at the origin. Yung vertex mo, nandun siya sa 0, 0. So, 0 sa X and 0 sa Y. So, we call it standard position. So, we use R, the length of hypotenuse. So, yung terminal side niya, in tinawag siyang R or yung hypotenuse terminal side nung isang triangle. So, kung kititingnan mo to, isang right triangle to. So, mayroon siyang hypotenuse. Yung initial side niya, tinawag niyang X or yung adjacent. And yung Y, 
Defining the trigonometric ratios is yung opposite mo naman from your angle. Again, yung vertex is yung origin ng dalawang terminal side or yung dalawang line segment. We call it initial side and terminal side. So, yun yung sharp edge or sharp corner. So, we call this a right triangle kasi 90 dito. Okay? So, we use R, the length of hypotenuse, length x and y with defining the trigonometric ratio. It means trigonometric ratio with, with respect to x and y. Or we call it the opposite or the adjacent of the standard position of your angle. If this is a right triangle. Okay, moving on. Degrees. Uh, the units for degrees. Degrees, minutes, and second. How do you uh, write or express the angle? So, during the Babylonian time, who live in the modern day of Iraq, from 5000 BC to 500 BC, use a base of 60 system of numbers. From then, we get the division of time, the latitude and the longitude, and the angles in multiples of 60. So, in similar way, we are similar to the way hours, minutes, and seconds are divided in degrees, which is divided into 60 minutes, which is the symbol. Ito. And in a minute, divided in 60 with this symbol. And we can write this in a form of degree, minute, second, or in symbol, we have degree, minute, and seconds. Okay? Okay. So, this is a hint. This portion is a hint for your homework, your homework number one. So, for your homework number one, under angle the top angle angles topic homework number one you need to convert the following okay number one 30,000 degrees 23 minutes and 47 seconds you need to convert it into decimal degrees and for problem number two you need to convert the 58.39 degrees into a dms format okay so, I'll share the link for where you can upload your homework number one. So, thank you class and have a nice day.